I'm back. All right, y'all, this is official rule number one. Maintenance is key. You would think this one right here is one of the ones I would think, oh, this is common. He ain't telling me nothing, you know, like, but is it common? Like, is it like, think about it. When you're out on the road, how many cars do you see that you can visibly see that that car is poorly maintained? Poorly maintained. We talking about bald tires. I know we all had the jokes, you know, uh, you know, you see them riding around. And you know, I know what joke I'm getting at. You, you know, she ride around them bald tires. You already know. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Bald tires. Leaking fluids, brakes, uh, capillary scraping the rotor because the brake pad basically is non non-existent. You know what's that noise? You know <laughs> this rule is so obvious, but it's probably the most broken rule. Is maintenance your own car? <laughs> People don't do it. People in general turn on their car. Well, nowadays you, you press your button. <laughs> and as long as that car start up, well, <laughs> they driving to work. They almost it's almost like you're too busy to almost even get your dang oil change. You're too busy to check them brakes. I mean you ain't even thinking about your dang tires. Like, and we're talking about like not getting in an accident. Like, how are you not going to get an accident when you got bald tires? Why are you not get an accident when your brakes don't even work? Your, your car is leaking. Like, it get, I give an example here. So we'll give an example of kind of all of them with those main key things. Like, if you don't do anything else to your dang car, like, change the oil, fix all leaks, keep decent tires on your car, and always fix the brakes. Like, those key little minor things, like, all right, you got a bad sensor or something like that, all the radio don't work, air conditioning don't work perfect, the heat don't work perfect. Okay, those not necessarily, well, the heat not working could mess you up in the winter with, like, defrost. It's like, but you know, give me kind of an example of how maintenance can can stop you from getting an accident. Like, but your heat not working usually comes with because you got low coolant. So, because you know you got a heater core and it goes through your coolant, blah blah blah. You know, so you got low coolant. Usually your heater don't work, and your heater don't work. Now your defrost don't work. When you don't got no defrost, now you can't see through your window while you're driving. You can't see through your window while you're driving. You get it. You see, it all started with. One piece of maintenance, you know, your coolant was low. All your coolant being low affected you all the way from seeing out your window. Like that's that's it, it's kind of crazy to think about it that like that. Like, but I don't think no, it's not crazy. But people don't think about like how your coolant being low actually goes to affecting can you see out of your window, out of your front windshield. Like, wow. Or your oil not being changed. And your oil not being changed is going to cause your engine to overheat. Because people don't think about that like, oil is a part of your cooling system is oil cooling down the engine. So your oil is low. You don't get your oil changed um, in decent intervals. It ain't got to be no 3,000 miles. Y'all seen my other videos. But, you know, five, six, seven, every five, six, seven thousand miles, you're getting your oil changed. So you're keeping a decent lubrication, which is also uh, keeping your engine from overheating with the oil. So not changing your oil 
will get you stuck on the side of the road. Not changing your oil will get you all you all in that far left hand lane and and your and your oil is low and then your car wants to save the engine. What is it going to do? It's going to throw you in limp mode. You on a highway doing 75 mile per hour and you go in limp mode because your oil is low. Now what? Now you got to get your car all the way over to the shoulder. And that whole time you're getting all the way to the shoulder, remember, you got people with three and four second reaction times as you're trying to get over. What, what do you think going to happen? Your chances of getting an accident skyrockets. Then even if you get to the shoulder, some, some, dumb, some dumb ass not paying attention, you know, on their phone, doing makeup, whatever, they might hit you and you have made it to the shoulder. But once again, it all started with you. You didn't get your oil changed. Now you stuck on the side of the road. Now you had to make that dangerous, you know, multi-lane switch all the way to the shoulder or even worse. You you got over on the left hand shoulder and you in fact, people were just blowing past you. Could have been prevented. If you would have just changed your oil. You wouldn't even have been stuck on the side of the road, you know, barring some some catastrophic failure. But cars these days ain't just doing catastrophic failures like that. So it's really start with you. Then we go to your coolant. Like everybody knows simple. You keep cooling your car, but you keep cooling your car. So the engine not overheat, obviously. So your heat works, you know, obviously the most cars use a, a heater core. But now you're not overheating your engine again. Similarly, what happened with the oil? You're not overheating your engine. You're not going to limp mode or in traffic. Once again, put coolant in your car. Your chances of getting an accident go down. Like that's just, I don't think people like connect those dots of how the maintenance matters. Tires, I'm going over the basic ones. Not keeping decent tires on your car. Now I know there's a there's a financial you know money component to maintenance of cars. So that's why I'm really only focusing on these major things that really would get you in an accident. You got some bad tires on your car. As soon as it rains, you're slipping and sliding and hydroplaning everywhere, and you got into a car accident, all because you had bad tires. As soon as say if you live up north or something, as soon as it snow and you don't have decent tires, well, what's going to happen? You're going to most likely be in an accident. You know, if you ride around in all them bald tires, yeah, in the summertime, you might get get away with it because it, it maybe it didn't rain yet. Or worse, it gets too bald, and then you got a tire explode on you. Now, you're in an accident. All because you just didn't have decent tires. It didn't even got nothing to do with you even driving yet. You just didn't have decent tires in your car. Now you're an accident. Like, like your, your maintenance matters. And that's one of the things that I'm personally pretty anal about my cars. Like they are properly maintained. And especially those things that I know are directly linked to me not getting into an accident. Those tires, brakes coolant, oil. Those are directly linked to accidents. So those things are always top tier on my car. Anybody know me? No, I be, I, I love changing some brakes and love my car having the best brake system on there. And I like to like, just, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be driving with people drive with me and I'll be like, yeah, they ride too close to me because I know they can't brake like me. So I, I got to like, not because because once again, because I'm a proactive driver, I'm an offensive driver. I know that my brakes are so dang good that the average person can't brake as quickly as I can. So I know I can't even press the brake sometimes all the way down because if I panic stop, that person behind me ain't got no chance. So I'll I'll uh, I'm adjusting for that, you know, going back to the offensive mindset and not the def def defensive mindset is. I got great brakes, and when I need them, I'm just gonna press them. And if you if you if you behind me, well, you're gonna hit me in the back. And guess what? That's your fault. That's the defensive mindset. Offensive mindset. No, I know how good my brakes are, so I might not even press them as hard because I don't want the person behind me to hit me. 
But anyway, because I have those good brakes, the chances of me getting into an accident and being able to brake quick enough, the chances of me getting an accident is low. And all of that just started with maintenance. Like we didn't even talk about driving techniques yet. We're just talking about maintaining your dang car. And, and, and if you, I know, it's, like I said, it's a financial component to maintaining your car. So that's why I want y'all to focus, focus on those four areas, your brakes, your coolant, your oil, your tires. And then I guess, you know, kind of a half one is leaks, any leaks, because if your car is leaking something, you can end up, you're actually contributing to other people getting in an accident because you're leaking all this nasty, slippery fluid onto the ground. And it's going to cause somebody else to get in an accident, if not you, depending on where it's leaking at. You know, because I've had that happen to me. I had a, a coolant line burst before and it uh, and it drank fluid all over my um, back tires and almost made me lose it. But we'll talk about another rule and I'm going to actually show that video and you're going to see me demonstrate another rule where a maintenance, a maintenance item almost messed me up. That's what I'm saying. I learned these along the way. A maintenance item almost messed me up, but because I followed a different rule that I'll be going to talk about later is why I still ended up in an accident. So maintenance matters. If you want to not get an accident, I mean, it starts before you even leave your driveway. 